Welcome to finding the will of God, where we try to make simple the most commonly asked question is, what is God's will for my life? And fortunate for us, the Bible explains several different instances where God's will is expressly discussed. And one of the easy, I don't want to say it's easy, but one of the most uh, easily obeyed principles that we can start right now to put us into the will of God is that area of gratitude. It is God's will for you to be thankful in everything. Now, I've preached about this. I've preached sermons about this. I can't tell you how much that this practice has helped me. But gratitude is just as much for our benefit as it also is for us to continue to stay in the will of God. You see, here's what it says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. It says, give thanks in all circumstances, not just good ones, All circumstances, not just ones of promise, not just ones when you're having a good day, not just ones when you wake up and the birds come in and they make your bed like a Disney movie and you go to work and you don't have any problems, you don't have any issues, not in those. It says in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you, being thankful, being grateful. I want to encourage you, one of the greatest things that you can start right now to put yourself in the center of God's will is to count your blessings instead of your trials. And there are many more things that you're going to find in that column than you readily come to when you're not thinking like this. Many people are like, but my life is a mess. My family's a mess. My relationship is a mess because what we're doing is we're looking at our deficits. But as soon as you start to pile up all of the good things that God has done in your life, your heart changes, your attitude changes, and you put yourself in the center of God's will by being grateful in all things. Now, you might ask, how do I be grateful when things are literally going to hell for me? I mean, how do I be grateful when I'm in the midst of a marriage problem? Or how do I be grateful when I'm in the midst of uh, dealing with wayward children or when I'm dealing with addiction or when I'm dealing with financial insecurity? All of those things. Well, you remember not the storm that you're going through, but you remember and focus on who is with you in the storm. And some of us, the reason why we're ungrateful is because we believe the lie that we are going through all of these things alone. That's simply not true. And when you start to realize that God is with you, then you stumble into the idea, well, wait a minute, not only is God with me, but the, God, God is with me, but the Bible says that Jesus died for me. There's something to be thankful for. And the Bible also says that Jesus rose from the grave to give me victory over my own sin and my own death. That's something to be thankful for. Then you say, wait a minute. The Bible also promises that I'll be in eternity with heaven because I believed in Jesus. And that's from part one of this. That's the first part of God's will is that you believe in Jesus. But as we look at this and you start to realize all that God has done in your life, you won't be able to stop giving gratitude to God. So this one's simple. I want you to start to be grateful. I recommend that you start every single day thanking God for three specific things. Not just the thrill, I'm thankful for my family, I'm thankful for my health, I'm thankful that I can buy food. No, no, no. I want you to thank God for really granular things. I want you to thank God for the air that you can pull into your lungs. I want you to thank God when the weather is nice. I want you to thank God for when you uh, woke up, that you woke up in a bed and you were able to have that bet. I want you to really, really think about all the things that we so often take for granted. Once we prime our heart with a pump of gratitude, it changes everything about the way we process all circumstances. But not only that, it gets us closer to being in the will of God. 